Strap yourself in at home, ladies and gentlemen. Something very, very rare. A world title defense seen on television. Seldom. If ever on local television. A battle for the heavyweight championship of the world. Look at that, will you? Nature boy, Ric Flair. And I tell you, that robe. Oh, a sucker got to go $10,000. Remember, they used to have three and four. I don't think they make those kind for that kind of money anymore. Don, on to do the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, if it wasn't for the sponsors of the wrestling card, you'd never get to see them on TV. So at the request of our, our very wonderful sponsors who make these programs possible, that they asked me to, if we had a sell-out crowd to put the match on TV and we're going to break precedent and do this because usually the world champion never appears on a, on a television, but because this is Ric Flair's first trip to the Pacific Post, he okayed it tonight for the one and only time. So ladies and gentlemen, the first, this event will be the best two out of three falls, our one hour time limit for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing here in this corner, 226 pounds from Florida, Hacksaw Sawyer. At this time, a big pleasure in introducing the World Heavyweight Champion, 240 pounds from Minneapolis, who has been one of the most sensational cards in the East for several years. Rick Flair. And Buddy and Rose gentlemen. is coming down to ringside. Hack. Hack. You'll have to give me that bell. Did you bring the bell? I am uh, asking Hack to uh, turn the Pacific Coast belt over to me, which he holds. Because if he should win this world championship tonight, we'll have to have a tournament for the Northwest Regional Belt. And uh, I believe that, that this hack Sawyer, I have great pride in this boy because he certainly come along and he could easily win the World Heavyweight Championship. What do you want? I have a special announcement to make. And that is this. Tuesday night, this Tuesday night, you got a Portland special. Now I asked to wrestle Ric Flair for the World's Heavyweight Championship tonight, and Hack Sawyer got the shot. So, I would like to meet the winner of this match Tuesday night in the Portland Sports Arena. But, but, I'm going on record as to say this. If you win, I'll wrestle you, and if you win, I'll wrestle you. But when I win that title Tuesday night, I will wrestle in Seattle, I'll wrestle in Salem, I'll wrestle in Eugene. I will make my home here, then I will go around the world and defend the title. But if I lose, if I lost that match Tuesday night, if I don't walk out of the ring with the World's Heavyweight Championship around my waist, I'll leave the Northwest. Let's see what Don Owen has to say. Let me say one thing to you. Go home and start packing, because it's going to be a new yeah. All right. There's one thing I didn't add to this. I would like to have my own referee. Well, we will have to see what becomes of that. Right now, we've got the excitement of world championship action right now. And there it is. 
You think it's pretty? Well, we can't get a real good shot of it, of course. But I'll tell you this, and that little trinket in income is worth at least a quarter of a million dollars a year to the man who holds it. Some say a half a million dollars. Because of the fact that you are always wrestling, you are the highest percentage paid wrestler in pro wrestling in the world when you hold that title. Interesting situation. Both these wrestlers like to put their man away with the figure four leg lock. It is Ric Flair's favorite hold. It is also Hack Sawyer's hold. And Hack has told me, and he mentioned that last week, that having it as my favorite hold, I have learned the counter to it. You want something to put men away, you yourself have to know how to get out of it. Into the ropes. Our first lockup, our first break, and it's clean. Lock up on the ropes. And a clean break. Go behind, body lock. Drops him, trying to find a handle. It's clear. Unable to come up with a hold. Rick Flair and the Playboy started about the same time. They entered wrestling both in Minnesota. Max Sarge showing his agility. They went different ways about seven years ago. Rose, of course, came to the West Coast, to Oregon. Flair went to the East. Both ruled the roost for all this time. Both, of course, peroxide blondes, as you know. Both very fancy in some of their gear. Both making a lot of money and spending a lot of money. Side headlock. Hack Sawyer with the hold. Wall to wall. And six feet tall, the wrestling pins. Here at the Portland Sports Arena. 289-4222, the number to call for the Tuesday night reservations. You can call tomorrow. Tomorrow and Tuesday, but chances are they'll be gone by tomorrow. If you call Tuesday, you'll probably be too late. Flea market opens at 8 o'clock in the morning, closes about 3 tomorrow afternoon. During those hours, you can come out back and forth. The reverse on the hip shot. Hack Sawyer. Making a good move. And her nose and nose and talking. The insult slap from the world champ. Hacksaw's not going to like it. corner. They work themselves off the ropes. They're locked up. Try headlock. Go behind. Front forward trip. Trying to find a headlock. Couldn't find it. There is Dick.
Hacksaw Sawyer dropped him. Knee lift to the midsection. Good old chop. The whip. Caught him with an elbow. Back in some trouble now. Turnbuckle treatment. Gonna go for the belly to belly suplex. Has him in the air. Nailed him. He'll cover him with the body press. Hooks the outside leg and he gets out of it. That looked like first ball right there. Side by side. It's in the sit out backbreaker. Some places called the atomic drop. Now covers with the body press hook in the outside leg. He gets the arm outside the rope. The arm is outside the rope. Stop that count. Front headlock and tightening down on it. Frank Bonham calling the action for you on Portland Wrestling. Glad you're with us tonight. Maybe this is what I have been feeling. The excitement of the last few weeks. The world champion defending his title against one of the most popular champions ever in the Northwest. A full house watching it. And down here, bringing it to you on old Channel 12. But Headlock or Claire. Claire, an elbow smash. Trading blows to the midsection. Now going upstairs to the head. Hack Sawyer working on Flair. And the crowd's going wild. Upside down. Out of the corner, Flair ripped. And whipped hard. Then he put him away. And go there, throw back drop. Hack Sawyer's got it working. Sawyer's got the world champion in trouble. Can he get a pin? That's down to two, and that's all. Grabs the front, headlock or front chancery. It's the chancery, the challenger for the world title. Taken in a corner, he had quite a flurry there, but unable to put the champ away. Flair. Let loose. Suddenly comes in to the corner after a dazed. Hack Sawyer. That's off and flying out with an elbow smash of his own. They are trading blows. They are swinging away toe to toe and nose to nose. Flair punished on the rope. He catches him with a cobra clutch. He catches him with a sleeper. Oh, what a shocker this is. Flair got out of it. He rolls him up with a small package. He's taking over with a small package. 
two, three. The champion wins the first ball. What a masterful move. Woo. What action, but a champion winning the first ball. How much? How much did Hacksaw learn about his opponent? We know he's been watching tapes, what he could. Whew, well, the first ball. First ball, I'll tell you, is something else. Why don't I move over to my interview position? And uh, I'll have a message for you. Can, I hope I can do this. Because we've got two live commercials coming up. And I'm going to be talking to a couple guests here in just a minute. But first, I want to tell you that i got to give you the hard sell for Tom Peterson. Tom says, now you only got a couple 30-second messages, Frank. you got to really hit them with a hard sell. And our hard sell this weekend is have a very happy Easter, won't you? Tom Peterson going to close the store there at Southeast 82nd and Foster Road so that he and his family and all of his employees and their families can have a very happy Easter. So whatever you want to buy, it'll still be there on Monday. So take the opportunity to have a wonderful Easter Sunday, won't you? Tom says happy Easter. Now we're going to call... Mr. Phelps in here, the track announcer, Keith, and a friend of yours, what's happening to Speedway tomorrow? Well, if you're a racing fan, ladies and gentlemen, Sandy Bar's Rose City Speedway has the Mighty Midgets tomorrow afternoon along sharing the program with the Mini Indies. And uh, as an Easter gift to the kids, Sandy Bar is going to allow all children under 13 to be admitted free, accompanied by an adult. I'd like to introduce one of our track sponsors, Frank Sinetti, Jr., I'm proud to be one of the sponsors out at Rose City Speedway. And remember, when you need painting, call me, Frank Spinetti, Jr., 281-8846. Thank you. Okay, that's the message. I'll have Sunday racing out there. Thank you very much, Keith. And we, I believe, are going to keep it right here. Oh, okay. We will be right back to talk to the headaches after this timeout. 